Today we did uh, joint airload training with the Air Force, uh, as, as well as being a scout. I'm also the battalion airload planner. Uh, so we actually uh, used real vehicles and did a short flight around to actually get, uh, I guess, a live fire exercise for airload planning. Uh, benefits of force, uh, obviously we got to get weapons, equipment, and personnel from point A to point B as quickly and safely as possible. Uh, logistics obviously is a crucial element to any military operation and being able to airload equipment as opposed to say ground transport or sea transport, it's much faster so the better we are at this, the quicker we can get to the fight or get equipment, personnel, uh, weapons, uh, vehicles where they need to be uh, in a timely manner. It's great working with another branch because we were both able to learn from each other. Um, it was as much a training opportunity for them as it was for us because they got to learn about our vehicles and what the loading procedures are for them. Uh, and we got to learn, um, working with them, what the points of friction are uh, to bring our vehicles onto their airplanes. So it was a learning experience for both of us. Without the Air Force, we don't have any uh, ability to do a rapid global response uh, with armor or light armor assets. Um, Otherwise, we're just tanks in a motor pool in Georgia. Um, actually having the air assets is what allows us to, under 24 hours, if we were going to, uh, provide an immediate response package to augment um, a global response force anywhere in the world. So I feel like it was a really great experience for me and my guys, especially because um, one of the Air Force pilots actually asked us if we have ever flown on a military plane before and for a lot of us it was no and um, they said that that was pretty uncommon that we were able to fly on not only a C-17 but the next day actually fly on a C-5. So that was pretty cool in my opinion.